two, one. Hey, how you doing? As we slowly <laughs> limp into another edition of Friday at 420. Uh, I'm Mike Neighbors. Thank you so much for checking out our uh, little podcast and our live stream to the world on Facebook. Uh, I hope you're having a good Friday and uh, we are about to make it even better because we're going to make you laugh. That's a guarantee. There was a time in the evolution of this show when Patrick Coppolino put up his own hard-earned cash. <laughs> guaranteed to make you laugh uh but nobody took us up on the what was it a dollar 14 or something you're uh, i don't i don't even think it was that much it was under a dollar for sure was, if you okay. if you didn't laugh okay. i would give you 75 cents or well something. I, the show hasn't come very far because we're still we're still in that same framework we're, we're gonna make you laugh i guarantee you. we got a great guest and we're gonna have a lot of fun on this friday at 4 20 so let's introduce our panel get right into it uh, and he's already uh, had a few words to say. Please say hello to our good friend, Mr. Patrick Coppolino. Buongiorno. Buongiorno, Patrick. How are you? I'm good. You're looking a little Doing haggard. Right? Are you letting? Is it the facial growth thing? What? You're not clean shaven. What's going on there? <laughs> no, I was looking haggard, and I shaved. I just kept the mustache on. Oh, and but now it's growing back out again. Yeah, I guess it's coming okay. in. My yeah. beard grows fast. Oh, it does. Hey, eh? what did you shave yesterday? Like three days ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excellent. So uh, you're so bored during this lockdown that you're now sh- you're trying shaving. Yeah, I grow <laughs> everything out for like three months now, and then it all goes. Uh, are you at the itchy? Because that's I never get no. to the beard stage because I can't get through the itchy stage. I've never had that. I don't, people oh, complain really? about that all the time. Yeah, I don't. I if any, I shaved it because I was noticing it was bothering me that it was just there. You know when you're just aware that you have a beard. <laughs> like you just feel it when you're not patrick's dead inside he would it's never feel this. <laughs> my, yeah. my jaw is just hanging there uh let's say hello to our good friend uh manolis zantanos yo dude manoli so, how's it going um, interesting manolis and i were just on this zoom call just ahead of this and i was showing manolis how to change his name so in the little box it says manolis and i swear to god this happened He's typing Manola Zantanos, and I think he forgot how to spell Zantanos, so he just said, screw it, Manolas. <laughs> I, yes, that is actually what happened. <laughs> I, in my defense, my brain's out, out of it. I, I've had COVID for six days now. You actually yeah. have COVID. Yeah, I got it like on Wednesday, so I think it's been six days. Yeah, I feel well, you okay. Were diagnosed on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, so why? was that me? You, well, you said you it. got it on Wednesday. <laughs> So officially, like if I'm counting yeah. 14 days, I should count it from the Wednesday, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're saying I should count sooner? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just clarifying. You didn't get it on Wednesday. <laughs> okay. Did Magic, Johnson, did Magic Johnson say he got HIV on the day of the press conference? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before we dive into Manolas having COVID, which obviously deserves some kind of a conversation, we will yeah. have that conversation, I promise you. But first, we got to I- introduce our special guest. Please, everybody, a nice warm welcome for our very, very good friend, Tyler Morrison of Cottage Comedy. How are you, Tyler? I'm doing good. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Always well, nice to be ripping some Magic Johnson jokes before I even introduce you. <laughs> wow. For the younger members of our audience, who Magic who? He's a magician, and he <laughs> yeah. made his immune system disappear. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, oh, Tyler! It's oh awesome to, to have you here. Uh, right off the top, I just want to let people know that if you're like Tyler Morrison, you want to be thinking too soon, and it's not too soon that he's on the show again. No, it's too soon. The name of his new comedy album that you can stream off any of the great streaming services out there. Am I correct? Yeah, check it out. It's actually free on YouTube, or if you want to uh, get it on Vimeo and uh, shoot me a couple bucks because you're not a dickhead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> i could always take the scratch you know i i am totally a dickhead i'm going to youtube all right uh t- <laughs> tyler get great-, your ad revenue. <laughs> <laughs> tyler, great to have you with us buddy uh we really appreciate you doing the show and uh, so now normally we would start with the random topics but i think we have to sort of you know the elephant in the room obviously is manolis actually catching this dreaded disease we're in our third <laughs> lockdown now in Hamilton. This thing is just going on and on like a bad marriage. Uh, Manolis, yeah. uh, do you know where you came into contact with COVID? I went to a party, I think. Uh, I think I went to a party in Newmark on, uh, on the weekend and I found the parties. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and um, I found I let my friends know that I have COVID 
and apparently everybody from that party and my friend and they all have it too. So like, <laughs> yes, I, it was a super spreader party. It was a COVID party, basically. Where, where was the party? Did you say in Newmarket? That that's that's my hometown, man. That my parents, my aged elderly parents, live in Newmarket, and you were up there spreading freaking COVID. I was catching it. I wasn't spreading it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, you brought it back to Hamilton. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, it's brutal, bro. Like my I, I'm I'm quarantined in the basement. My dad's like trying to kill himself now. Because <laughs> you obviously trying to kill him. I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to stay away from him and he tries to come towards me all the time. I'm like, get the fuck away from me. What are you doing? Do you know 93? Yeah, he goes, Hey, can I use one of your masks? My coat, one of the ones I breathe in, the COVID mask. He fell yesterday in the tub. I had to pull him out of the tub with a mask on and then leave right away because he couldn't get out of the tub. My dad hasn't fell fallen in the last year. So I get COVID, it's time to fall. Like it's the <laughs> Like it's like I I I am having a meltdown, Mike. So 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 what does it feel like? What 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 have you felt like? Has it been as bad as like they make it out on the news? Yeah. Be, or? Oh, it's as bad as yeah. Honestly, though, it is as bad as you think it is. Yeah. Like I was at a point when I first got it and I got home. I I went to set. I I got a COVID test on set, and uh, because I was doing background work, and they're like, "Oh, you have COVID. You have to go." I'm like, "I do," <laughs> and then they're like. And this girl's like, it was so funny because this girl's like, um, wardrobe girl's like, what are you doing? Why are you changing? You can't change. I'm like, I got COVID. Okay, see ya. And they just walked away from me. <laughs> and they burned the clothes. You were they wearing. burned the yeah. They burned the clothes. But I felt like um, uh, there was a point where like, if this gets any worse, I think I might go to the hospital. And I, I like, oh, wow. I, it felt like it does feel hard to breathe yeah. at times. And yeah, we, we've been having some fun with it, but it, I mean, it, this is serious. There, you know, you don't send a society into lockdown without it being serious. This is a serious disease. We don't want anyone to get it. It's a real um, dude. It's real. I, I, yeah. I swear to God, up to this point, I wasn't even sure anymore. And then I got it. And I'm like, holy fuck. Yeah, this is insane. That was bad. T Tyler, you have you you haven't had it. <laughs> no, no, you haven't it's come like, into contact with it. Yeah, it's, yeah. I, I live in Muskoka. There's hardly any of that up here. The only reason we're on lockdown stuff is because we're attached to the Simcoe Health Board. So right. if we get the, the cases from Barry, they kind of shut us down a bit. So everyone, but you've, Barry, you've been good up there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and Patrick, you're still clean. This is why we're thank God we're doing a Zoom call with Manolis yeah. and not in the same room. You see, like during a pandemic, <clears throat> like going to Valley Village and stuff is not on my priority list. So. <laughs> I, I feel pretty safe uh, not dude, leaving my house. Dude, I'm immune now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't have to get a needle. Uh, by the way, if just for the uh, viewers watching at home, if you if you notice uh, Tyler dipping in and out, uh, Tyler's got a, a kid that he's uh, keeping an eye on. Good parent. I just there, turned Tyler. off my phone. Some prick was calling me. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. It wasn't the kid this time. Uh, how many kids do you have, Tyler? Uh, two Two daughters. Two daughters. I have two daughters, man. Good yeah, luck, buddy. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Just keeping Manolis away from them is a, is a job. Is job one, especially <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got <laughs> Manolis doesn't have COVID. It's nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> it's too old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, uh, you know, let's, I, I, we're glad you're feeling at least a little bit better and that you are quarantining in your basement. You're not going to spread it anymore. You're not going to any more parties in Newmarket, for God's sakes. Um, and uh, we're going to play our little game here. We have uh, 12 random topics and 12 random envelopes uh, that I stole from my previous employer. And I'm going to uh, pull a topic out. This is topic number three. And this one is for our good friend Tyler Morrison. Uh, the first topic on this Friday at 420. Uh, hey, Tyler, did you have a goldfish growing up? Yeah, I did have a goldfish. Ever have goldfish? Yeah. His name was Freddy, and uh, he ate Fred his own shit. <laughs> <laughs> they all do. <laughs> Fre Freddy, is it Fred Flintstone? Was it a Freddy Flintstone? Did you name him after that or Freddy, what? Freddy Krueger, but he, yeah, he okay. ate his own shit, and like we didn't have TV, so that's what we watched. <laughs> him eat shit? <laughs> Well, beyond that, we got to find out why Tyler didn't have TV. You're not that old. I'm just kidding. I'm okay. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, was say, I thought we we'd struck a vein there. Oh yeah, Tyler was brought up by hippies. Yeah. Uh, 
Jehovah's Witness. And, uh... oh, 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 there you go. <laughs> the modern day hippie. Uh, Tyler, what uh, did, you, did you? Was they would they end up flushed? Did they last long? Do you ever? Do you remember them being around very long? Because I, I don't know very many people who had goldfish very long. Some do. Yeah, not not time. too long. Yeah, we had to flush it. Our, my kids had a goldfish too, and uh, that goldfish died, and we flushed it down the toilet. But I just told them that it was going down the water slide. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> so my youngest one, she thought the toilet was a water slide for a long time. So that's my goldfish story. <laughs> oh, well, it's a water slide mostly it's reserved exciting. for your poopy yeah yeah uh, it's a poopy water slide uh slide. speaking of poopy water slides uh patrick <sighs> what? Did, you have, did you have a goldfish growing up what, what was the deal there? uh yeah we me and my sister had goldfish growing up uh and i remember the last time we had it uh, we had one was um uh the year that my parents took us to Disneyland and they did the same. Every parent, I think, tells a different story about why they're flushing the fish down the toilet. <laughs> uh, and ours was because our fish were alive, but we were going to Florida for like two weeks. So <laughs> they <laughs> they flushed it, but like they let us watch them flush it and told us that they're like they're that's they're, they're going to meet us in Florida. They're, yes. they're going they're taking the the like the sewer, like the toilet down. to. They're going to meet us in the water in Florida. And then but like we were like. I don't know, like eight years old, and we're going to Disneyland, so we didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, get rid of kill them. Let's go. We're good. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then cat? we got back. Yeah, we got back, and we just completely forgot we had fish. I think like they put the tank away before we left. And just didn't bother buying another one. So now you, you guys that, know. Oh, go ahead, Tyler. When we went to Disneyland, uh, my parents did something similar, but we had puppies, so they just drowned. Them. <laughs> <laughs> they drowned. They're gonna meet us in Disneyland. Well, we're <laughs> They try to push it down the toilet. (laughs) Uh, uh, Patrick, I I just got to say, man, I don't know if you uh, know this, but like I've seen a couple of really in-depth news stories about how those goldfish that people flushed that were alive are like, are like Coots Paradise is filled with goldfish. Goldfish are just carp. They're just carp. I mean, they're just fancy carp and and they grow. and, And I mean, they're, Think some of them are huge, and they're goldfish that people have flushed. You're saying that we're alive. You're saying Patrick's fish is still alive. We could go Probably. find them. <laughs> yeah, that was a. Yeah, I guess like flushing them doesn't kill them. I guess right. No, they can live in the water. Yeah, <laughs> you'd think the sewage water would be a little, and that's why when I see that when I saw the size of the ones in Coots Paradise, I was thinking it, that's the damn sewage water. That that's why they got so friggin' big. Yeah, uh, uh, Manoli, did you have goldfish growing up? Uh, I did, I, I think, have some goldfish at a certain point, yeah, but when we got a little older, my brother got really obsessive with, like, wanting bigger tanks and buying different kinds of fish. Like the, full aquarium stuff, right? Yeah, and then, but my brother's, like, to this day, like, he's a, he's a perfect mess. Like, he's just lazy. <laughs> like, it's like he buys a fish, but he doesn't have no, he has no desire to take care of these fish. Like, he bought, so f- one thing he bought, which blew my mind, he bought piranhas. Oh wow! Yeah, cool, right? Yeah, they died. <laughs> they couldn't survive. <laughs> they, he, yeah, I don't know how he, 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 I don't know what he did, but they died. A, m- a couple months later, they were just dead. He had a t- tank full of dead piran- piranhas, uh. and then he bought a bigger tank, so he bought two Oscar fish. And Oscars, do you know what Oscars are like huge, right? They're like giant fish, and he he didn't take care of them. Which, what do you call it? The, the filtration? The filter. Yeah, the filter. So the filter stopped working. So it's just still water. And now about a month goes by. And the fish, one day I come in there and I go, what the? F-? And the fish are swimming sideways. <laughs> and then, never and good. then, never good. And then the fish are swimming upside down. <laughs> so They're dead vanilla. <laughs> oh, dude. So then I go, I go to the pet store. My friend is in the fish we go to the pep store we steal this stuff to clean the water so we get the al- um chlorine al- out of the water like so, so we clean we move the, the fish into pots and and then we clean the tank and fix everything and we put everything back in while my brother's sleeping the whole time he's in the room he doesn't even know we're f- saving these fish and then everything's fine and these fish survive and then he sells them back to the fish store because he figures they're just gonna die again yeah. And that was the paper pitch to free Willie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then a franchise was born. Yeah. 
Uh, it, that's it, that's fascinating. It, it just reminded me of it. Just very quickly, I'll share uh, an incident that happened. I was shooting a, a TV show, uh, just a community te television show, and we were doing it. Wh what's the name of the big uh, aquarium place? Owls or something? Down, oh yeah, Owls. Down, yeah, down in the East Hamilton. Um, and so we go there. Big so Al. Big Al. Yeah. So we're yeah. setting up, and, and and I'm talking to Big Al because we're doing a thing about his store, and and he says, uh, and and they have a giant tank in the middle of the store with a shark. Like in a good size, I don't know, maybe a couple of feet. It was a big shark. Um, and he says, it's kind of the prized possession of the store or whatever. And I'm, so I'm getting all the information about the shark. So we're standing in front of the shark tank. And, and the guy producing the segment for me flips the lights up uh, to shoot the, the segment. Well, the shark loses its freaking mind and starts just swimming full out and hitting the glass, like just ramming itself into the glass until it knocked itself out. Now it's laying at the bottom of the tank and I'm going big out. Like, like, is it dead? And he's like, ah, I think it just knocked itself out, man. I'm going, it's not going to look good on TV. And it's yeah. laying on the bottom of the <laughs> tank. So anyway, long story short, the moral of the story is be careful with the fish kids. <laughs> um, I want an aquarium now, man. This yeah. sounds, I want to get, get the stingray that killed Steve Irwin. <laughs> <laughs> is that? Yeah. You know what? That, that'd be cool, man. That'd be a cool thing to that. have. Your kids would enjoy it. <laughs> and then you can flush it when you're going to Disneyland. Uh, here we go. This is topic uh, number two on this uh, Friday at 420 with our special guest, Tyler Morrison, and his uh, new comedy album, Too Soon. You can check it out online. Uh, we'd love for you to go to Vimeo and, uh, and yeah, throw a couple bucks to Tyler for his amazing work. Where was this recorded, Tyler? At Yuck Yucks in Toronto. And how long ago? uh september last like last september okay excellent yeah so still did was covid wasn't a thing yet no before covid so not before COVID. bc yeah. we call that bc not, not this not this pre actually so it would have been two september two ago. september's september 20... ago but the, you know what but that I, the only reason i pointed out tyler is because that the last thing we want is a comedy album filled with covid stuff yeah true <laughs> yeah just get me the hell away from covid right yeah. yeah, this is this stuff's all pre pandemic and it's it's pretty uh, evergreen material. So I think it kind of lasts a little a little bit longer than topical things. But Tyler um, Morrison's too soon. Check it out. All right. This topic for Patrick Coppolino. Do garage sales make you uncomfortable, Patrick? Uh, now they do. Because <laughs> Manolis has probably been to it. But uh... would you go? Would you go to a would you stop? If you're driving, I used to, would you stop at a garage sale? Uh, now I, I don't know. Like as an adult, maybe not. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to love garage sales because I lived in a survey and like yeah, the whole survey would have a garage sale at the same time, so it was like a little market, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and as a kid, that's fun because you get to look and see if there's a lot of kids in the neighborhood, <laughs> so there's always toys and stuff. But, um, I don't know. At the odd time, like me and Manolis actually, we we were on our way somewhere and we saw this like big yard sale at. Uh, it was like out in um, where was it? It was like off Highway Six or something like that. On the way to the, like in the middle daughters. of nowhere, yeah. And there was like there was a lot of cool stuff. We ended up grabbing um, uh, some tables and stuff for levity and like little. He ha he actually had like belt like a table full of belt buckles and a bunch of them said like comedy club on them and stuff. So oh, like nice. there was some neat little finds there. Yeah. But uh, but I don't get like yeah I don't get like excited when I drive. <laughs> By a garage sale, if that's your question. You're not the guy who just stops mid street, jumps out yeah. of the car, leaves it sitting there like the crazy garage sale, like Manolas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Tyler Morrison, what about you? Do you garage sale at all? Would you garage sale? Do you just find the whole idea comfortable? No, I, I like garage sales, but the one thing I don't like, I I'm never comfortable in any place where the man with a fanny pack has the most authority. <laughs> Yeah, it's like true. this guy's our leader. Fuck off. This is, this is the <laughs> this best guy. Yeah, I don't know. I I enjoy garage sales though. I, you know, we always go on on weekends. It's something to do with the kids. Throw them in the car and you know, let them rummage through strangers' private <laughs> items. <laughs> yeah, I I always that moment to me is always the guy with the fanny pack. As soon as you said that, the first thing I thought was and 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 inevitably you're having an argument with him over whether that item is 50 cents or 25 cents i mean it's like are we, this is what we're down to oh yeah are you sure it says 50 cents on it yeah i know but really i'll, I'll give you a quarter uh manoli what about you buddy 
I love them. I love garage sales. I know you do, man. This topic <laughs> was built for you, Manolis. But it's like I, there's either two kinds of people though. You go and there's like you see like a like a box full of albums and how, like how much how much for the how much for the albums? They're like oh, it was like some guy was like ten dollars per album. And you're like get, get bent, dude. What are you talking about? Ten dollars per album? You don't you haven't listened to these since, since 1982, but you're trying to get ten dollars out of me for like Duran Duran? <laughs> like it's over bud just get and then there's the other guys that's like got ten dollars for the whole box you're like deal I'll take it i don't even need to look at it i'll figure there's something good in there i'll check it out later you know like there's that 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 guy those are the good guys and there's like so many people it's like sometimes i'll get a box of cassette tapes and i love i love old cassette tapes right so it's like they'll be like like 200 some guy will sell 200 cassette tapes to you for like 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 seven dollars and you're like yeah. And you're like it's like you're like almost like why don't you just give them to me <laughs> what's yeah. the seven dollars changing in your life yeah it's so <laughs> but, but uh, garage sales are cool man there's like sometimes i'll find like like uh, there's a couple times i found like uh old um like mash me memorabilia things like from a garage sale like they were like instilled the package and you're like what i couldn't believe it stuff like that so you do find cool things right yeah. If, if you look around at enough of them, right, you're bound to like, like it's it's never going to happen on the one off. But if you go to enough of them and then you looked back on your journey, you'd go, oh, my God. Yeah. Like I ended up with a half a dozen really, really cool things. Right. But you do have to spend the time. You got to invest the time in the garage sale. The worst is, though, when you're like talking to some dude and like he's close to your age or whatever. And then all of a sudden this guy has a daughter and she's like comes out and she's like a smoke show. And you're like, oh, man. I man. wish I I wish I didn't see you. Oh, man, I'm paying full price today. Like how much for her? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> sorry. Damn it. I'm sorry. Um, I've covid. A quarter I... for you. <laughs> <laughs> Will you take a nickel? Really? 50 cents? Yeah. Um uh have you guys seen the thing cuz I've seen this a couple of times now on like Facebook Marketplace where uh and I was just talking to my daughter about this this morning that um where it's like UPS will sell unclaimed or undeliverable merchandise and they put all the merchandise into a box and you just have to buy the box. You don't know what the hell is like in a it. mystery box. Yes. And That's I've seen cool. this now a half a dozen times where it's been different carriers or whatever. Amazon returns is another one where these guys are boxing up Amazon returns and they go, we can't tell you what's in it. And you don't know, maybe there's something worth a thousand bucks. Maybe there's nothing. It's all just crap, but it's only a hundred bucks for the box to find out. It's like, that's, yeah, that's kind of cool, right? I did that, and I actually got an Air Jordan, but it came with one of those severed feet that keep washing up. And <laughs> so you know, you take the good with yeah. the bad. Yeah, so you're still walking around in the one shoe <laughs> <laughs> up there in Muskoka, just the guy in the one Air Jordan. <laughs> yeah, the other one was bloody. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, let's get to our next topic on this Friday at four twenty. Uh, with uh, Tyler Morrison, Manolas Antanos, and our good friend Patrick Campolino. Topic number 12. This one's for Manolas. Manoli, here we go. Okay, dude. How are you planning to spend the new lockdown? Anything different in your life now that you've had? I mean, you've actually referenced it, right? That you uh, kind of feel like you're going to be immune coming out of this thing. How am I going to spend it after we're done being locked down? No, how are you going to spend the lockdown? We're oh, down the lockdown. Oh, buddy. Uh, I don't know, man. I like just. Are I'm you doing, getting crazy? Is this yeah, I'm going. I'm I'm going a little crazy. Yeah. yeah. I I mean, to this this having COVID too was like um, I lost my urge to like th like uh to to masturbate like because I'm so sick. But now I'm starting to, then I'm starting to pull one off again. So I know oh, that's nice. yeah. That's, so I know you're I'm you're on the road to recovery. Yeah, I know I'm getting better. So, but I don't. It's like, that's how, that's how, that's how like strong COVID is. It's just like, like my favorite thing to do in the world is just, uh, you know, yeah, we know pulling off and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I, I'm like, I can't, my arms are just too tired <laughs> to do it. No. Did you, did you find, um, just how much more time you had in a day <laughs> with not doing that? <laughs> oh, well, yeah. It's this weird thing. I started reading books and then, uh, my writing got like my spelling got better. Um, I I got, got smarter. I've, uh, yeah, everything. I lost I, some weight. I'm actually uh, four steps. I think I might have the cure for cancer in like three more days. <laughs> uh, see what happens. 
Uh, Tyler, you uh, you're up there in Muskoka, and uh, and you guys you're you're an associated lockdown with the Barry area. Are you guys in the gray or the red, or do you even know? Uh, I think we're in the red because you can have like 50 people can go into a place. Okay, you're red. Yeah, I think that's red. Yeah, yeah. so we're like, we're doing okay. Um, how, how how has it been with the kids? I'm, I'm guessing your kids are are younger and uh, they're homes. Are they schooling from home? Are they going to school? Yeah, they, they're one's in school and one's in, in daycare. And then my wife's back to work. It was tough for a while, though, when everyone was home. It's just like everyone's on top of you. Like, I had to go out to my kid's treehouse just to take a shit. <laughs> just to get some time alone. Like, when your kids are home that much, it's ridiculous. They're always like, you can't use the washroom. They're just rattling the doors. You feel like you're in the kitchen in Jurassic Park. And the <laughs> raptors are... <laughs> <laughs> figuring out how to unlock the door from the other side no like, daddy's in here <laughs> that's so funny what uh what what uh, uh what is happening now uh with the kids though are, are your, your your daughter that goes to school is back in school yeah she's in the ones in school i have the other one home today but uh you know she's always she's yeah and you and you always work from home right? when i do a podcast right do, do you always work from home um well yeah when i'm not on the road i'm right you know i can't really tour right now i do have a couple shows coming up in oshawa though at crazy jacks on april 10th three shows for those who doubted me they're going to all sell out <laughs> people, but you can still blow me <laughs> uh crazy jacks on april the 10th in oshawa Yep. Uh, and, and is, is, so I guess they're obviously allowed to, a, a smaller capacity, but they're allowed people in. Yeah. You can have 30 people, uh, plus I guess staff and comedians, okay. so 30 people, 30 audience members. So it'll be cool. So that's nice. Yeah, nice to get out and get back on the road a little bit. I, I do miss traveling. That's, that's one of the parts I did. I enjoyed about stand up comedy is going to all the different cities and. Well, especially. Drunk. And no one telling you what yeah. to do. <laughs> yeah. And no kids rattling the door in the morning. And Oh, yeah. I love those. <laughs> but they will get a cold stunner if they keep it up. <laughs> uh, Patrick, how uh, if you're just going to keep doing the exact same oh, thing yeah. you're doing. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, I'm going to miss this when this is over. I, <laughs> I'm, I've adapted the hell out of this lifestyle. I like this corner of my apartment is now like my haven. I, I'm like, I'm making videos, I'm streaming on Twitch, I'm playing video games, I'm producing music, <laughs> like, I love it. I'm playing poker, it's, I, I'm good, I, I've thought about it, I'm like, when things go back to normal, I'm gonna be like, I'm really gonna, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, when they're like, oh, another lockdown on Monday, like, inside, I'm like, yes, <laughs> at least another two weeks of this, this is great. That's good. Yeah, uh, I, uh, I have no problem continuing life like this. You've not only thrived in lockdown, but you've actually become <laughs> more productive. That's weird. Uh, yeah, I'm a, in a weird way, yeah. You're an, I, I, you're an idiot. What? You're an idiot. <laughs> Go to hell. Well, like, I think back, like, I, I was actually thinking yesterday. I'm like, it's actually kind of weird to think about what life would be like right now if COVID never happened. Like, we'd just still be in that routine of life as it was going you know what i mean um yeah we would be we would yeah. be doing this yeah <laughs> yeah exactly right? we'd all be in a studio with covid boy over there <laughs> yeah i can't wait to have sex again with a human being <laughs> okay there's no all volunteers right. no yeah. volunteers They're here married bro. me too <laughs> <laughs> well Sex again would have been a good way to end the sentence. With a human being infers that you've been having sex with other things. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's how that's how bored I'm got gotten. Like it, my hands not enough anymore. Sometimes I'm washing extra loads of clothes for no reason. I'm just le and I'll just lean against it. Yeah, yeah. Feel the vibration, baby. Uh, Manolis, uh, we I already talked to you about this, right? I, I'm losing track now. We've talked so much COVID. We're not supposed to be talking COVID on this show because we're supposed to be the anti-COVID here. But unfortunately, Mo, Mo, Manolis caught it. Right. Uh, so let me go uh, with topic number four. This one is uh, for Tyler Morrison. Uh, we've got uh, we got time for a couple more topics here. Uh, Tyler, uh, here's a topic I think you can weigh in on. What's the best cereal? What's the best cereal? 
It's a good question. Do you, do you still eat cereal to this day? <laughs> yeah, but I eat old man cereal, frosted mini wheats. <laughs> you, know, you know what? I got to say Cheerios are my favorite, just straight up, because you can throw some fruit on that and some sugar, and it's, it's awesome. Cheerios, you know, you can dress it up however the fuck you want. Really? Yeah. That's kind of... <laughs> That's kind of a, but that's kind of a plain Jane it's, yeah, of the cereal. Like you said, so. you can adapt. It's like the Greek yogurt of cereal. That's right. 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 Okay. I see my kids and they're picking through, they're picking through the Lucky Charms to get the, uh, <laughs> the marshmallows. To get the marshmallows yeah. like you're sifting through shit to find a fucking diamond. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I saw a, a meme on the internet, and it was uh, uh, it was just a bowl of just the marshmallows from Lucky Charms, <laughs> and oh, yeah, it was like funny. you know what heaven looks like or something. It was like yeah. Okay. Uh, so okay. Cheerios, we got one vote for Cheerios. Uh, Manoli, do you still eat cereal? You're a grown man. Uh, not anymore. I have. I think I'm a lactose. Never eat cereal anymore. I used to, but I think I became lactose intolerant. I think every time because I every time I drink like if I drink a glass of milk. No, like I, I'm like pooing for like two hours. Like it's just coming, it goes right through me. I can drink a little milk, I think, but if like, so if I won't drink, I won't eat cereal anymore because of that, basically. So, but, such a simple, positive topic. And, and <laughs> Manolis had to go down diarrhea lane. What? <laughs> why, Manolis? Why? But, it's actually a real street in Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's basically Hamilton. But uh, <laughs> there, this is one thing I do do when I used to eat cereal. So I, <coughs> sorry, I get my dad to buy the the party pack where it's like, you get the little ones of oh, the little uh, boxes. Yes. Yeah, you get all the best ones. So there's like there's like uh, eight of them, I think. And then what I'll do is I'll open all of them and I'll sprinkle a little bit of each one in one bowl. Yeah, it's it's crazy, bro. It's like what you used to do with the remember when you were making like a uh, a, a slushy, right? Yeah. And you get all the all different the flavors. slushy flavors all in one. That's the, I that's what I, I use that instead of the milk. <laughs> I just put that underneath the slushy machine and I'm I'm good. No, but yeah, I used to, I, I not all the time, but I used to do that. Yeah, it was so, way better. So and, and again, I'm just going to bring us full circle here back to I don't know the topic. Uh, what's your favorite cereal? <laughs> oh, I, um, you know uh, I like um, what's that V? What's the one with the V? I really like that Ve one. Vector. Is that what it's called? Isn't there one called Vector? Or yeah, something? there is. I, it's I've never to, tried it. It's actually really tasty. Yeah. Is it? Does it yeah. have like strawberries and stuff in it? I think so. Yeah, I like that one. I've tried that one before, but like, that's, that's more, more like what Tyler said. That's like an old man cereal, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's I tried like it more of cereal. Mm, like yeah, it is. Muselix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put Metamucil in it, and then uh, and then I go to town. It's we've gotten really good. Yeah, uh, Patrick. Best cereal? Uh, lately, all I've, we've had here cause is Esther's favorite cereal is Honey Nut Cheerios. So I've been eating a lot of that, and that's okay. really good. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I'd have to say my favorite is probably the Reese Puffs. Like <gasps> the Reese's uh, cereal. It's so oh, good. Sugar bombs. Yeah. Yeah. No, that Peanut is butter, good. Butter, chocolate. So good. That's, that's it. my eh? favorite milk. <laughs> that's it. I, I don't know. I used to love cereal. I, I would have like eight different boxes of cereal at my place before, but um, I like um, like Tyler. Would you have the 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 frosted, frosted uh, mini wheats? Those are awesome too. Yeah, tight. yeah. Don't sleep on those, boys. Don't sleep. On them. <laughs> you can though. They're like little pillows. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. You know. This, I, I eat. It. I still eat a lot of cereal, but I primarily eat cereal because of the speed with which I can eat. Um, you know, if I'm all of a sudden like jammed for time, you can wolf down a bowl of cereal. It takes no time to prepare, obviously, and then you just get it down. So I still consume a, a fair amount of cereal. Um, but just I think it's more ease than anything. I'm, it's not like I'm in love with the idea of, you know, I'd, I'd much rather prepare a meal. But on yeah. short notice, we got to slam something back, a little Reese's, <clears throat> Reese's Puffs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. They're all good. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Uh, you had that? Yes. C Captain yeah, Crunch. Good. All the crunches. Uh, <laughs> all right. Here we go, boys. This will be our final topic on this Friday at 420 around the horn one time. We're going to start with Manolas and work our way around this topic. I want you to tell me briefly, Manolas, yeah. uh, a 
about the last time, the last time, I, the last time you got really, really drunk? Um, not please. just, not just, hey, I was a bit hammered the other night. I mean, I am talking, oh my God, I forgot my name and where I lived drunk. Uh, and I guess new, uh, definitely New Year's. I guess when I was with Patrick, we got we got uh, uh way too drunk, and uh, we got so drunk. Yeah, yeah. I think did I puke Patrick that night or was it uh, the I don't know. Lindsay was puking her brains out, and then we were <laughs> Lindsay was puking. She went she went to the bed and like she was getting sick. So like we were scrambling to bring her things to puke into. Oh, yeah. And Manolis grabs a pot from my kitchen, but he didn't realize that he grabbed uh. Uh, like a steamer pot, so it's like a strainer. It's got, oh, holes, it's got in it. holes in it. Oh no! <laughs> but luckily, we we caught it before she threw up into it. <laughs> That's how drunk Manolas was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what were you? Uh, what were you uh, taking? Uh, drinking that night, Manolas? Uh, we were drinking a, a rye, rye, and, like some beers, but mostly rye and coke. And then uh, I definitely, yeah, I de- I remember we were drinking so much to a point where like. Uh, I was doing all right, and then I think I would have stayed up a little bit more, and then I think it was like four or five in the morning, and Pat just saw Coppolino all of a sudden, like he checked out too, and that was it. He he went he went to the bed and he fell down, and so I just went to the couch and fell asleep. So I pulled one off, and then I went to bed. <laughs> Gross. But, oh, no. oh, I mean, I mean, no. I just I went to sleep. I no, mean, that's a risk everyone understands they're taking when they invite Manolis to sleep over. <laughs> <laughs> There's, he's gonna jerk off somewhere. So. There is a reason he's never been invited here. All right, uh, <laughs> uh, Patrick. Would would before we get to our good friend Tyler Morrison and find out about the last time he got really, really, really drunk. Uh, Patrick, was the last time you got really, really, really drunk the same night as Manolas? Uh, yeah, probably. The only other time I got drunk since then was that night he talked about last week on the on the podcast. Was um. I was doing a taste of the virtual pairing thing for Bose Brewery. So they send me like a package with a bunch of different beers and like meats and cheeses and stuff. And uh, so I did that during the day. I got like a nice little day buzz going because they send you like a lot of beer. And of course, I, I, I drank all of it. So <laughs> by that point, I would, that's when I was like, Manolas, you want to come over and have some drinks? <laughs> Like, I got to keep this going. And then he came over. And honestly, I remember like 10 minutes of him being here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember. Manolas remembers that night. Uh, Tyler Morrison from uh, Cottage Comedy. Don't forget his uh, brand new album uh, available on all the streaming services too soon. With Tyler Morrison also playing out at uh, in Oshawa at Crazy Jacks, is it? That's the one. That's Crazy the Jacks, one. April tenth. That's right. Three shows. Good all three. Um. Tyler, there'll be new material in each of the shows, right? So I can go to all three safely? Um, yeah, there'll be, <laughs> I mean, enough new material that uh, people who, you know, who've seen me probably will see some new shit. Excellent. We love new shit. To write some new jokes. You know, I'm always working. Yeah, <laughs> always working. Uh, Tyler, can you tell me about the last time you were really, 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 really drunk? Ooh, last, really la- drunk? Last really night. drunk, man. No, you know what? I haven't drank for about two months, Manolis. Shame no. Yeah. I've Why? Why? I don't know, just trying to get a little bit healthier. And then I want to be looking good so I can crush my enemies. And then uh, <laughs> I'll get wasted and celebrate. <laughs> no, the last time I got really drunk is like a group of us uh, for my buddy's uh, bachelor party. We rented this beach house down in the Leamington area. So it's just out on, uh, what, what's the, is that Lake Erie down there? Yeah, Lake we Erie. We were on Lake Erie and uh, nine of us for like the weekend just binge drinking it was a mess it was a bad idea for them to rent us that house and uh i actually just pulled it up when you asked uh manolis what's the you know the last time we got really drunk i pulled up the email that we got from the owner of the of the rental and this kind of re you know brought everything back to my memory what happened so this is this is a real email this guy sent us he's like as you know we had to deal with a lot of crap after you guys left one master bedroom Piston. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Floors needed a big cleaning. Three. Counters need to be cleaned. Four. Toilets nasty. <laughs> Five. Barbecue pieces missing. Found the upper heating tray in the grass about 15 feet from the deck on pool equipment side. 
Six, walls by kitchen table had stuff spilled on it. Seven, dirty underwear in my chemical basket for my hot tub. <laughs> Eight, eight bags of garbage not taken to bin, which two had lots of cans and bottles and leaked all in the back of my truck. <laughs> Nine, very dirty cups put back in cupboards. <laughs> <laughs> I'd appreciate if you would send me $200 for the cleaning of the house and dry cleaning. You can work it out with your guys, but that was the worst anyone's ever left the place. <laughs> so that's the first email. <laughs> Second email coming in hot. <laughs> Please send this to whoever slept in the master bedroom. <laughs> I'm here right now with my kids and fiance ready to go to bed. Through the rush of cleaning yesterday, we just gnawed the piss on the mattress cover. Oh, the damn comforter was pissed on. Big time. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> Not just a must little. Have, <laughs> must have soaked through to the bed cover. The damn mattress is soaked also. Whoever slept in there needs to contact me and pay for the cleaning of the mattress and comforter. So pathetic. <laughs> And whoever decided to piss in the upstairs bathtub missed some. And it was down the side of the wall under the trim, which is nicely stained now. I'm so pissed now. Who does this shit? Whoever slept there better pay to clean. That's all I'm saying for now. Make the get the message and the rest of you jerks who didn't even have the decency to put sheets on the bed. I've got dirt rubbed all in one. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Someone bled on the sheets in the small bedroom. Oh no! Those will have to be thrown out if I can't get the blood out. <laughs> oh my god! So, so yeah, it was a pretty wild time. Uh, <laughs> That's an awesome email, man. So we sent him the money, though. There was nine of us, so we each sent like fifteen yeah. bucks, and we yeah. all made the password piss the bed. So <laughs> we could get the money. He had to write that every time. <laughs> But I'm sorry, you don't. Rent, you do not rent a beach house to like nine idiots for a bachelor party, especially if it's no. brand new. Yeah. And I am also sorry for pissing the master bedroom. <laughs> yeah. You, you should rent our Kelly's house. He wouldn't notice anything. <laughs> yeah, you get like a what, like a black light to show where the piss is not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The piss free zone. Oh, that was fabulous, Tyler. What a great ending to our little episode of Friday at 420. Uh, just be uh, before we go, just talk to me a little bit about your label because I know we've had Leanne Maladin on. She's got uh, her albums on your label, Cottage Comedy. Uh, talk yeah. to me a little bit about that and what you got, what plans are in store for the future. Yes. Yeah, so Cottage Country Comedy Festival is a festival that uh, I founded back in, I guess it was 15 years ago. This is our 15th year of the fest. And um, We've created a label for creating albums and stand-up specials called Cottage Comedy Digital. And on the label, we have people like Mike Wilmot, who we did his first album, Jarrett Campbell, whose album Straight White Fail was nominated for a Juno, and Leanne Maladin, uh, Patrick Hay. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of uh, great comics, and we're still working with, with comedians to uh, produce their albums and get them out there. And it's just all about working with, uh, with great comics and trying to help them get the best representation of their comedy and get it out to as many people as we can. Uh, is uh, are there plans for the festival this year? Are you going to be able to pull a festival off? Do you, what do you have there? Well, with the social distancing, we're seeing what we can do during the pandemic. We have been running some smaller shows kind of, you know, whenever we're allowed to, we will get, you know, a 25 person show going, hopefully maybe get some outdoor stuff happening, just kind of working with the town and, and the, you know, with the regulations in our venues, but we'll see what happens. I don't know if it'll end up being a full, festival maybe we can do something in the fall if things lighten up a bit but you know we just do what we can well we certainly appreciate you spending a little bit of time with us tyler that was awesome uh don't forget to check out his album too soon available on streaming services and check him out in oshawa at crazy jacks april 10th tyler morrison you're a gem thanks pal hey thanks guys really great seeing you awesome uh manolis what do you got to say to wrap up this episode of the show Two quick things. Uh, one, yeah. just so you know, uh, Mike, I don't know if you know this, but Tyler is also, uh, uh, like you, a huge ACDC fan. Well, you I know? thought you were going to say racist. <laughs> 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 but yeah, yeah, let's go with ACDC. Yeah. Let's go with ACDC. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, no, I am a huge ACDC fan. So Nice. Yeah. And um, and second, um, I did I did his uh, po other podcast, Fight Stories. Oh, yeah, so I, yeah. I did an episode of that, and so... 
You check, check that out online. Check that out. Where do you yeah. find that? Is that everywhere too? Fight Stories podcast? Yeah you, yeah, you can get Fight Stories on like anywhere where you subscribe to podcasts like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. All of our episodes go on YouTube. And uh, go over there and hit subscribe on the Fight Stories channel. We need more subscribers and we need to be famous and we need to make so much money so we don't ever have to leave our houses again like like Patrick wants, right? <laughs> While you're yeah. checking out fight stories on those streaming services, you can also check out previous editions of Friday at 4.20. They're all uh, been posted on the streaming services as well, thanks to our good friend Manolis. Uh, Patrick, time to clean it up. What do you got, buddy? Uh, nothing. You got nothing. Just keep, keep, you know, having parties. Keep <laughs> Everybody. Hitting, hitting the patios, going to the stores you're allowed to go into. Let's keep this going. If, so there's, I can, any, uh... if there's anything you've learned today, it's that Patrick Manol- uh, Patrick is not a super spreader. No, uh, but if you are, it, it keeps my dream alive. I'm coming uh, over keep, tonight, bud. Keep doing this. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you, uh, everybody, for uh, another edition of Friday at 420. But most importantly, thanks to you for watching and for downloading and streaming uh, this episode of the podcast. We really appreciate uh, you supporting us here at Friday at 420. And it's that's it. It's time for, well, the weekend. So until we get a chance to talk to you again in seven days, have an awesome weekend! Woo-hoo!